Hi, uh, this is a demo on how to edit the web server files for uh, iDash. Um, in this demonstration, what we're going to do is that we're going to take, um, we're going to change the the analog input gauges to show AFR rather than the the normal voltages. And this is useful. For instance, if you have, say, my Spartan Lambda controller and you want to connect it to the analog input and you want to show AFR on the dashboard rather than normal voltages. Um, this demo can be expanded for any sensor, um, not just for AFR. So you can you, you you can modify the code to your own needs. Okay. So uh, what you have to do first of all <coughs> is to go to my website and download the latest uh, iDash uh, software. And once you install it, then you can start playing around with the code. Okay. So let's assume you've uh, downloaded, installed, and installed the latest software. Okay. Oops. Should be for that. Okay. Oh. So let's connect the iDash 192.168.1.1.147. Okay. Okay. Um, you see that uh, these voltage uh, input gauges. Are, this is a normal function, so it shows voltages. Okay. So what you want to do is that uh, you want to go to where you installed the iDash software, which is usually C drive, program files, 14.7, iDash. You want to look in the custom HTML file um, directory. Um, go into HTML source. Okay. Um, HTML source contains basically the, all the web server files. So you can edit these web server files and then upload them to iDash and, up, and, and, and iDash will begin to serve these new files. Okay. What you want to do is that you want to edit the HTML5 file. I use um, Notepad. So, here we go. Okay. Um, what you want to do is that uh, you want to, okay. This is the uh, this is the normal function for the voltage input. This is the normal function. So let's comment out that, and then this is the uh, new function for uh, showing AFR. So let's un uncomment that. Okay. File. Save. Okay. So once you've uh, saved your changes. You want to go to the MPFS2 directory, run the MPFS2 generator. Okay. What this program does is that it takes all the files in the HTML source and it compresses them into one file called mpfs.img2. Okay. And this compressed file is basically just a compressed file of all the HTML of all the files in the HTML source. Okay. And this software also uh, uploads that mpfs2 img2 file um, to iDash automatically. Okay. Now, you want to make sure in advanced settings, what's in front of your screen ex is exactly what's in front of my screen. You also want to make sure in the upload settings, your settings are exact same as mine. You don't need username or password. Okay. So let's generate and upload the new mpfs img2 file. Now, sometimes um, the automatic up, up, upload doesn't work, so uh, you, you you might need to manually upload the MPFS IMG2 file, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, so it uploaded. So if we refresh iDash, you'll get a new function for VN1. Sorry, well, not a new function, but you'll, it'll 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 show AFR now rather than um, uh, zero to five volts. Okay, and VN VN two, we 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 left it as a as a normal voltage function. So I'll quickly go through um, 
the parameter list for that line for VN1. Okay, so the first one is the, uh, the first parameter. This is the name of the gauge that's shown. So this corresponds to this VN1. This corresponds to the unit that's shown, AFR. Okay, this is the internal name of the variable. You don't want to change that. If you change that, things will break. This is where the gauge starts at 10, so it corresponds to this 10 over here. This corresponds to where the gauge ends, 20. This was this cor so that corresponds to this 20. The 13 corresponds to where the green annular ends. And the 14.7 corresponds to where the yellow annular ends. Okay, and finally, the last uh, parameter. This is the uh, conversion formula for converting from voltage um, to AFR. Okay, um, you can modify this um, formula um, if you have, say, another brand of Lambda controllers. Okay, sorry. This um, this formula is for uh, my Lambda controllers, which output um, zero volts at 10 AFR linear to five volts at 20 AFR. Now, if you have a different brand of Lambda controllers, you can edit the formula um, to suit it. And furthermore, if you have, say, uh, your own sensor, say a map sensor or, or a temperature sensor, you can input the formula to convert from voltage to whatever metric you want. Okay, and it's 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 not a hard formula. I mean, if you look at it, you should be able to understand what the what the formula is doing. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, let's show you the manual upload. As I said before, um, the program also generates an MPFS2 dot MPFS IMG2 dot uh, bin file, and this is where it is. It's in it's in the custom HTML directory. This is a file. So, in case the automatic upload doesn't work, well, I'll show you the manual upload. So, go to configuration, web server update page, choose file. And then, so it's uh, it's in C drive program files 14.7 i dash custom HTML mpfs img2, and then let's upload it. So again, we, we upload the same file that we did, did before. So VN1 is AFR, VN2 now is, um, is, is voltage. Okay. So uh, let's, um, let's, let's revert everything back to normal. So let's um, comment out the AFR function and uncomment the old function. So now VN1 will go back to voltage. Let's go file, save, then just click generate and upload. Now, if we refresh the screen, everything should be back to normal. VN1 should, should should go back to voltages. So, it works. Okay, uh, that's it for this demo. Thank you very much for your time.